And a Canadian woman accused of sending President Trump a poisoned letter will be arraigned in federal court here in Buffalo tomorrow afternoon. She was arrested over the weekend trying to cross the peace bridge into the United States. Well, federal authorities aren't saying much, including why she might have been trying to cross here in Buffalo. Well, two on your side, Steve Brown is at the peace bridge and he has more on this story. Steve? Scott and Mary Alice, federal authorities opened up an investigation late last week when a letter addressed to the president tested positive for ricin, which is a poison with no antidote. This morning in St. Hubert, in the Canadian province of Quebec, RCMP investigators were seen combing through a residence. It's believed this is the home of the woman now in custody in Buffalo. The woman, who has not been named, was detained crossing the Peace Bridge over the weekend. A firearm was also confiscated, but the arrest happened without incident. The Canadian woman is a suspect in an investigation the FBI tweeted about on Saturday that it was looking into a suspicious letter that ricin was detected in a letter addressed to the president. The letter intercepted at a mail processing facility for the White House. Defense attorney Thomas Iowano notes that even though the woman was picked up over the weekend, it's not unusual that her federal arraignment was pushed back until Tuesday. They need to be arraigned as soon as is practicable, but given COVID, normally they'd be arraigned the same day, but you'll have to set up a Zoom conference, get an appointment with the judge, so a 24-hour delay is not unusual at all. Now, the New York Times reports that the same Canadian woman who's in custody here was deported from the U.S. last year. This after she was arrested in southern Texas and found to have in her possession an unlicensed firearm, a false driver's license, and she resisted arrest. Now, the arraignment for this woman happens tomorrow at 4 o'clock in federal court before Judge H. Kenneth Schroeder, Jr. Reporting live at the Peace Bridge, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.